A couple of weeks ago, I suggested a way to deal with the character Hiro Nakamura being so overpowered in the television series Heroes. His godlike powers made it difficult to provide any kind of conflict without Hiro quickly taking care of it or selectively becoming an idiot so he wouldn't take care of it. Hiro wasn't the only overpowered character in the series. You also had Peter Petrelli, who by merely standing near someone else with superhuman abilities, he could then use their abilities himself. By the end of Season 1, Peter had collected quite a few powers, including the explosive abilities of Ted Sprott which he nearly accidentally used to blow up New York City. Following the events of Season 1, Peter meets Bob and L. Bishop, who claim they want to find a cure for Peter's abilities. Peter goes along with their plans until he realizes they have no intention of finding a cure and only intend to keep Peter locked up indefinitely. Peter eventually escapes until the man known only as the Haitian, a superhuman who can erase memories, erases Peter's memories, leaving Peter where we find him at the beginning of Season 2, trapped in a shipping container in Ireland with no memories, trying to figure out who he is. I will give the series credit. Unlike Hero, they did at least try to de-escalate Peter from how powerful he was in the previous season via his amnesia. The problem is, I don't like how he got to this point or what they did with him once they got him there. Peter spends over half the season stalling until the series is ready to have Peter meet up with and be manipulated by Adam Monroe, the big villain of the season. Then Peter gets his memories back and we're right back where we started. What's to stop Peter from accidentally using his explosion powers or any of the other dozens of powers that he absorbed in season one? My solution is twofold. Instead of the Haitian taking it upon himself to remove Peter's memories because of some vague need to repay a debt to Peter's mother, Peter finds the Haitian and convinces him to take away his memories so he isn't a danger to society and basically leaves him with nothing. If he can find his way back to his family, he can pretty easily find out about his powers so he can't know anything about anyone that he was close to. This gives Peter more agency and it's one less instance of the Haitian doing something mysterious for reasons that are never explored. And once Peter loses his memories, we don't magically undo it half a season later when we're ready for Peter to interact with the plot of the season. He still has access to all the powers that he got in season one, but since he has no memories of those powers, he can't use them. Peter is no longer a danger to society, and he's not powerful enough to take on every character in a series at once, which is good for us if we want to sustain drama for an entire season. But also, Peter would basically be a new character here. It'd be interesting to see Milo Ventimiglia play him differently than he did in season one. Not just Peter with no memories, but still acts like Peter. Peter of season one felt like he had a higher calling and wanted to do something that mattered. Maybe this Peter wants to settle down with Caitlin and live a normal life. One of showrunner and series creator Tim Kring's chief complaints with this season was the romance stuff, both here and with Hero and Yeko. I'll be honest, I don't even remember Yeko, and I didn't think much of Caitlin at the time when I first watched this season, but I don't hate the idea of introducing new romantic interests for our principal characters. You just need to give Caitlin some kind of personality other than nice and likes Peter. You can have Peter's brother or mom looking for him, and when they find him, and they see that he's happy and doesn't know who they are, they have a choice. Bring him back to what he left behind, or let him live his new life. This could be a real tearjerker of an episode if written and acted correctly. And while I'd love to give him a happy ending, please don't take that out of context, I don't think that would last very long. Fans would want to see him come back, but you have to be careful with that, because if he starts interacting with the other characters in the series, or new characters with powers he hasn't absorbed yet, you've got the same problem you did at the end of Season 1, with an overpowered character who, when thrown into the middle of the conflict can stop it with just a thought. You could introduce some new kind of power dampening plot device similar to what the show had, pills that Peter was taking when he was a prisoner of the company, but that's only a temporary fix. Or you could say the Haitian went above and beyond when he wiped Peter's mind. Not only does Peter not know who he is, but he also doesn't know how to access powers, the old ones he absorbed in season one and the new ones he might absorb after the Haitian releases him. It would do no good for Peter to not know how dangerous he is and run into Johnny Fire comes out of his genitals and then Peter actually accidentally kill someone in an act of passion. So in the same way most of the superhumans have to actively try to use their powers, what if Peter does too, and he no longer knows how to do that? Like if the Haitian made Peter not remember how to drive a car. But what good is the guy who doesn't know how to use his powers in a show about characters with superpowers? If you've given Peter a bit of a reprieve from the world of exploding men and deadly viruses, and someone finds him and says, we need your help, while Peter cannot consciously pull up one of the powers he's got inside him, he can shoot electricity or turn invisible in emergency situations. He doesn't know how he's doing it, and he can't seem to do it on command, but if a runaway truck is coming towards him, he can suddenly pull up telekinesis he got from Silar. Kind of like Ultra Boy from the Legion of Superheroes. He has multiple powers, but can only use one at a time. This would provide lots of interesting ways Peter can interact with the story without allowing him to become so powerful that his presence breaks the series. With him being a man reborn, maybe after somebody recruits him to help with whatever is going on, he says, okay, I'm going back to Ireland. If you guys need me, you know where to find me, but please don't need 
kidding me. You can do what Tim Kring wanted to do with the series and phase out the original cast and bring in new characters, but you can bring him back for special occasions. That's what I have today. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, I do these fixed videos all the time, so check back next week to see some other video about the TV series Heroes.